Alright guys, so now we're gonna talk about the filters in Tableau, but first as usual we have to understand the concept behind them and then we're gonna learn how to build filters in Tableau. So let's go. Alright, so now we're gonna start with the question, what are filters? Filters means to remove or select a subset of the data for different purposes and use cases. And in Tableau, we have the following reasons or use cases for filters. The first use case for the filters is to reduce the size of your data. Reducing the size of your data inside Tableau gonna improve and optimize the performance of your dashboards. Especially if you are dealing in the project with a huge data source, reducing the size of such a data source gonna mean reducing the processing time inside Tableau, which gonna lead to optimized response time in your visualizations. So this is one of the reasons why we use filters in Tableau to optimize the performance of our dashboards. The second use case of filters is interactivity and analyzes. We usually offer a set of different filters for the users because different users may have different goals or may be interested in specific aspect of the data. So that means allowing the users to filter and to focus on subsets of the data data gonna help in better analyzing and understanding of the data. And the third use case for the filters is hiding sensitive informations. Data security is becoming very important topic in each project. As now many people are working with the data, the data security is becoming a very important topic. And in Tableau we can use filters to restrict the sensitive data or to hide it from the viewers to make sure that we are protecting such a sensitive or confidential data from being exposed to the others. And the fourth use case for the filters is data access control, raw level security RLS. So this means that we can use the filters in Tableau to limit the access to data of the users based on the role and the permissions. Because in real projects, you cannot just go and build visualizations and share it with everyone. Instead, you have to protect your data and to have some data restrictions. Like for example, you're gonna have users like sales employee, they should not see the data like managers. So in order to protect your data and implement the raw level security in Tableau, you can use filters. So as you can see, filters are really useful in data visualizations. And in Tableau, we have six different filters for different purposes and use cases. And I group them under two categories. The first group of filters, they can optimize the performance. So we have under this category, the extract filter, data source filter, and the context filter. And we have another group for the interactivity and for analysis. And underneath this group, we have the following filters. We have dimension filter, measure filter, and table calculation filters. And now I'm gonna go and explain them one by one. All right, so now in order to understand how the different Tableau filters work, let's have a quick recap on how Tableau process the data through different layers. Let's go. First, you connect your original data into Tableau data sources by either having an extract connection where you're gonna load an extra copy of the data inside Tableau, or you can use a live connection between your data and Tableau data source to get data on demand. Then you might have different worksheets connected to the data source, and for the visualizations, they're gonna send a query to the data source, and then the data source gonna respond by sending the result data back to the visualizations and to the worksheet. So as you can see, your data is moving through different layers, different stations, and if you are not using any type of Tableau filters, the whole amount of data gonna be moved and processed from one layer to another layer. So for example, and those are just numbers to explain the concepts, we have in the original source of our data 30,000 records. That means the whole amount of data gonna be exist as well at the data source level. So there we're gonna have as well the same number of records, 30k, and then the same amount might be as well the results of your queries. So we're gonna have as well 30k records in the visualization. So we might be in a situation where the source of our data might have a lot of unnecessary data. So it's going to be really wasting resources and performance in Tableau if we are going to process the whole amount of data in each layer. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and apply different types of filters as your data is moving from left to right, from the sources to the visualizations. The first type of filters that we can use called the extract filter. You can apply the extract filter between the source of your data and the Tableau data source. 
you can use this type of filter if you are using the extract connection. So that means you cannot use the extract filter for the data sources using the live connection. So the extract filter will be used to filter the data before it even enter the Tableau data source. So for example, if we are using the extract filter, instead of having the whole amount of data in the data source, we might have only 20k of records. So the main purpose of the extract filter is to optimize the performance of loading data into Tableau. Sometimes you might be in a situation where loading the extract or refreshing the extract in the Tableau data source taking very long time. Here usually we go and create the extract filter in order to get rid of all unnecessary data and remove it before it even enter Tableau. And another benefit is optimizing the performance of your visualizations because we're going to have less data, less processing time in Tableau, and that's going to result in better response time in your visualizations. So the main purpose of extract filter is to optimize both the loading time and as well the response time. And now let's move one step to the right side. We have another filter, we call it the data source filter. So you can apply this filter between the Tableau data source and the worksheets. So here again, the worksheets are sending queries to the data source, but this time the data source will not respond by sending everything, the whole data, but instead here the data source can filter the data first and then send the results. So here, instead of sending 20K of records, here Tableau might send like around 10K of records. So here again, the main purpose of the data source filter is to reduce the size of data. So that means, and you know that already, having less data means less processing time in Tableau and better response time in the worksheet in the visualizations. And here we have another use case for the data source filter is to hide sensitive informations from the worksheets from the viewers. Alright, so now the question is, what are the main differences between the extract filter and the data source filter? Those two filters are really similar, but still we have some differences. The extract filter, as the name says, it could be applied only on the extract connections, while the data source filters could be applied in both extract and live connections. Extract filters could be found only on the Tableau desktop version, but the data source filter we can find it in both Tableau desktop and Tableau public. And the main purpose of the extract filter is to optimize both of the performance of loading the data and as well the response time in the visualizations, while the main purpose of the data source is to optimize the response time in the visualizations and as well to hide sensitive informations from the viewers from the worksheets. Alright, so now we're going to move one more step to the right side to the next station where the data is now inside our worksheets and here we can use a very unique Tableau filter called the context filter. In Tableau, if you create a context filter, what you are doing is creating an additional layer inside the worksheets where Tableau going to take the result data from the data source and create a new optimized temporal table based on the filter inside the worksheet. And then the visualization is going to get the data from this temporal new table or subset. And here the downside of the context filter is we are losing performance because Tableau going to spend resources and time in order to build this temporal table. So now you might ask me, why do we need a context filter if we have a data source filter? We can easily use the data source filter in order to reduce the size. And with that, Tableau don't waste any resources or time in order to build this layer, this extra table. Well, the answer for that is flexibility. Because once you apply a data source filter, you are filtering all the worksheets that are connected to this data source. And in some scenarios, you cannot use the data source filters because you have different requirements and different focus in each worksheet. So you cannot set up one filter that is suitable for all worksheets. And here comes the power of the context filter where you can fulfill all the different requirements by defining different filters for different worksheets. So you are flexible with the requirements and at the same time you are reducing the size of the data to optimize the performance of the visualizations. And here you can go and decide for each worksheet whether you want to reduce the data using context filter or you want to have the whole data. So having this option gonna give you a lot of flexibility. So for example, in the worksheet number one, we could use a context filter where we can reduce the number of records to 7K. 
And in the second worksheet, we could use a different context filter with different criteria where we can reduce the number of records to 5k. So the context filter is a really unique feature in Tableau, but don't forget we have here a trade-off between the flexibility and as well losing some performance because Tableau have to create those temporal tables. So now by checking the big picture, that's how the first category of the filters works in Tableau. We have the extract filter, data source filter, and the context filter, and they share the same goal, to reduce the size of the data in order to optimize the performance of the visualizations. These filters are usually created from the Tableau developers and will not be offered for the users in the visualizations. And that brings us to the second category of the filters. We have the dimension filter, measure filter and the table calculation filter. We usually offer these filters to the users to give them the power of slicing and dicing the data to focus on specific subset of the data. So these filters usually exist in the visualizations and they share the same purpose, to enable users to do analysis and to have better understanding of the data. And it's better to explain those three filters directly in Tableau. And now by looking to the big picture, you can understand that as we are moving from left to right, the importance and the priority of the filters are changing. For example, the most important filter is the extract filter and as well has the highest prio in Tableau, which means Tableau gonna process it first. And the Tableau calculation filter is the least important and has the lowest prio. So that means Tableau gonna process it as the last one. So the order of the filters in Tableau are very important to understand in order to know where to apply which filter. So the order of filters in Tableau are defined like the following. The first filter to be processed is the extract filter. The next gonna be the data source filter. After that, we have the context filter. Then we have the dimension filter. Next, we have the measure filter. And the last in our list is the table calculation filter. So the top filter gonna be processed first. And as you are moving down the list, the filter gonna be low prio and will be processed as a last. So here again about the usage, the extract filter, data source filter, and the context filter is used to reduce the size of data. And the other three filters gonna be used by the end users for analysis and better understanding the data. And now the question is where we can create those filters. The extract filter and the data source filter, we can create them in the data source page. And the other filters, we can create them in the worksheet page. All right, so with that, we have learned the different types of Tableau filters and the concepts behind them. And next, we will learn how to create different filters in Tableau. 